Here is a powerful free platform designed for AI-generated images and mobile hosting. It offers 100 free image generation daily, making it a fantastic tool for creators. Let's explore how quickly we can create images, turn images into videos, and how to train your own LoRa models with so much ease. Introducing TensorArt AI, your free AI image generation and hosting platform. You'll find the link in the description below. Now, let's start things with generating AI images. When you sign up on the TensorArt platform, this is the main dashboard. On this dashboard, when we click on the image creation, we've got all these options we can use to create our images. So we'll start with creation. We can also find it here. When this interface opens up, we can create images from text, images from images, we can turn text to video, and we can also turn images to video. So what we want to do is select a model that we want to generate our images in by clicking on this model option. Once it's selected, we've got all these options to choose from. So we're going to select a 3D. From there, we can go through all these different options and select a style that we want to work with. I will select a Disney style. Once selected, just scroll down and choose the aspect ratio. For a YouTube full video, we're going to select 1280 by 720. After that, I will turn on the advanced setting and I'll scroll down a little bit and I'll turn on the upscale option. From there, I'll select two times and I'll leave these other settings just like that. Once all these settings are done, the next thing is to put a prompt that describes the type of image that we want to create. Let's assume we want to create an image of a girl walking. We can just type in beautiful lady walking from there just select the number of images either four two or one it's all up to you i'll select four from there i'll click on generate images here are our beautiful generated images except here it has added two characters which is something that we can work with so let's try a different prompt let's say an old man working at the farm and we'll leave the number of images to four and we'll click on generate and here are the generated images of our old man working on the fan. These images are amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. I would really love to hear from you. Let's try the final prompt with a complete different model. Let's try the pixel stop. Go to models. Well, at least 3D is still selected. Let's scroll down a little bit until we find pixel which is actually here, 3D pixel stuff, use recommended. Let's say a young boy going to school and we leave the number of images to four. And here we can also add some negative prompts, like things we do not want to see in our image. Once that is done, just click on generate. Here are our images of a boy going to school. And these are images are amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. Now, one thing I would love to mention is at times at this AI tool will generate more than one character in your images. Maybe you've requested only one image, but it will give you extra character in your image. This might work perfect for you in other scenarios, but sometimes it might not work perfect. Maybe you only need one character at that particular moment. Let me know your thoughts on how cool these images are in the description below. I would really love to hear from you. If you're getting any value in this tutorial, click the subscribe button because more value awaits you. Now, before I show you how to train your LoRa models, let me show you how you can quickly turn these images into 3D animated clips. What you want to do is come to this option which says image to video. The first thing you want to do is uh, drag your image here. From there, select a model that you're going to use. You can also add a LoRa model which I'm going to teach you soon. Now, when we scroll down to the settings, we can choose between the stable generation mode or the fast generation mode. We'll leave it to stable then the video resolution depending with what we are creating i will leave it to 16 by 9 when it comes to the duration we are limited to only five seconds at the time of recording this video and once everything is done the only thing we are supposed to do is to input a prompt that describes what our character is doing in that particular image then from there we can also add some negative prompts once that is done what we want to do is click on the generate button for our image to be converted into an animated video clip and that's how easy it is to turn your images into video with this platform now when you visit the tensor art homepage you will notice that models are labeled as either checkpoint or LoRa in the top left corner checkpoint models are large scale models trained on vast amount of images result 
resulting in bigger fall size. On the other hand, Laura models are lightweight, fine-tuning models that help refine large models by adding specific styles, details, and character features. With Laura models, you can accurately generate images of specific people, parts, or unique art styles while still leveraging the power of large checkpoint models. Now, here is the easiest way to train your Laura models on TensorArt AI. On this homepage, what you want to do is come to your far right corner and click on online training. Now, here you want to upload a number of images at the minimum of 15 images. You can even upload up to 1000 images. I've already generated a 15 plus images that I'm going to upload and all these images were generated in TensorArt itself. I'll upload them here. Once they are uploaded, we can crop and adjust images by selecting the batch cutting edge on our left and crop images uniformly. I'll use 1024 by 1024. I'll leave the auto labeling batch add labels and set repeat times just like the way they are. Then here on our right, we need to choose our model themes. We've got a number of options. I'll select Animp and once it is selected, We've got two options here at the bottom, We've got the repeat and the epoch. Now the repeat is how many times the AI processes a single image and the epoch is the number of times the AI cycles through all images. Now high values lead to better accuracy but require more computation power and time. I'll leave them as recommended. On the best model, leave it just like that. The final two things that we are supposed to do is to add some trigger words and some prompt here at the bottom. And once everything is done, the only thing you need to do is to click on start training now and here the progress bar will show the estimated time remaining as the model trains you will see preview images being generated and once training is complete head over to your profile upload your trained lora models and start creating unique ai generated images that's how easy it is to create and train your own lora models using tensor art ai i'll leave the link in the description below so that you can try it completely for free Thank you TensorArt for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Check out this next video how to create amazing AI animated videos and start your own YouTube channel completely for free. God bless you.